the legendary Matt Fox presents in association with my junkie studios featuring the 18 tooth sun gear the 42 tooth ring gear and the planetary carrier and pinion gears planetary gear power First, I'm going to show a maximum reduction available in a planetary gear set. In this case, I'm going to input the sun gear, hold the ring gear, therefore my output will be the carrier in this demonstration. To calculate a reduction ratio in a planetary gear assembly, the ring gear teeth and the sun gear teeth are added together and then divided by the drive gear teeth. There is another reduction available in a planetary gear set. It's not as deep as the max reduction I just showed you, but the same principles apply. In this case, the input is now the ring gear, and we are going to hold the sun gear, and the output is still the carrier. You can also achieve a direct drive in a planetary system one of two ways. You can hold any two members, or you can drive any two members at the same speed. For example, if I drive the sun gear at 10 RPM and the ring gear at 10 RPM, I will still achieve a direct drive. In this case, the output is on the carrier. However, the output can be on any one of the three gear sets in the planetary assembly. The versatility of the planetary gear assembly allows us to get an overdrive as well. To do this, we are going to input on the carrier and we are going to hold the sun gear. Therefore, our output is going to be the ring gear. To calculate an overdrive ratio on a planetary gear assembly, the driven gear is divided by the sum of the ring gear and the sun gear. To get the max overdrive out of a planetary assembly, the input is still the carrier. The ring gear will be held and the output will be on the sun gear. If you've noticed in the overdrives, the input has always been on the carrier. In the reduction gears, the carrier was always the output. To achieve a reverse gear in a planetary assembly, the carrier will always be held. Depending on the input or the output, it will be a reduction or an overdrive. In a reduction, the input will be the sun gear, the output the ring gear. To calculate a reverse ratio in a planetary gear assembly, it is simply the driven gear teeth divided by the drive gear teeth. A reverse overdrive, the carrier is still held, the input on the ring gear, the output, the sun gear. Remember the laws of the carrier. The reduction, the carrier is the output. Overdrive, carrier is the input. Reverse, the carrier is held. Jerry, kill power!